Welcome to Stealthbot Adventures. Bienvenidos a Mexico. Today we are in Cozumel. What is it, day four, day three, day seven? I don't know. I believe today is day three, Cozumel, Mexico. We are heading out for a chocolate, tequila, and honey excursion. Yeah, this one is sponsored by the cruise line. Yep, so we're guaranteed getting on and off through Norwegian, no problem. Yeah, so come along with us and let's get some tasting. And for those who haven't been to Cozumel before, Cozumel is an island that's off of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. So typically cruise ships will park at Cozumel and then you have an option to do excursions on the island or you take a ferry over to the mainland. This time we're going to be staying on the island. Bienvenidos a Punta Langasta. Welcome to Lobster Point. Punta Langosta. Excited? Chocolate. Chocolate. Tequila. You ever said about tequila? No. <laughs> Chocolate, tequila, honey. There's the big, there's the big coat in there. Le mousse pork. Le mousse pork. Okay, mis amores. Good morning. How are you today? Good. How are you? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> I need to repeat that because we're on vacation. Woo! Okay, chicos, how are you today? Woo! Okay, so mis amores, here we are. This is a tequila, so let's stop with my blah, blah, blah. Because here we are, tequila, tequila company. Tequila. Paracito. So mis amores, this is a kind of brand, okay? Uh, from to Guadalajara, Jalisco, vale? All of you know the tequila came from to blue agave, right? Yes. So, no mezcal. Mezcal, green agave. Tequila, blue agave. Okay? So, the tequila you will try today came from to Guadalajara, Jalisco, blue agave, mis amores. It wasn't even 10 a.m. yet, but our first stop was tequila tasting at Baracito. We went towards the first open table we could find to have a seat, and I got ready for the tequila tasting. Sony bottles, and that's exactly what we're going to have the opportunity to be working with today. One of them is white, one of them is red, and one of them looks like a golden tone. Okay, amigos, the white one is horchata. Okay, is anybody here familiar with horchata? Mm -hmm. Excellent. For the people that don't, don't know what horchata is, horchata is a mixture of water, rice, and cinnamon. It's a very traditional drink here in Mexico, part of the family of Alas. Uh, I see a lot of interesting faces. Uh, you know what? This Yama. is really good. Interesting. Yama. Okay, Yama. We get started, but the day was something like this. Let me tell you something. I mean, if you're on vacation and you're on a hot day, something like this with a bit of smirking water or seltzer, something like ice, on a hot day, it goes amazing, amazingly good. Okay? Now, I mean, this red bottle, Jamaica, it has 13.9% of alcohol. You would not, you might know it as about a 27.8 proof. The very small amount of alcohol that it has. Okay? But let's head towards tequila. 100% agave tequila. I want you to grab that golden tone one. I want you to grab it. I want you to smell it. And you see right here, that smells like bad choices, okay? <laughs> I'm sure for many of you, memories are rushing back into you right now, okay? Now, do me a big favor. Don't drink it just yet because here's where a lot of people have been confusing a lot of things. First of all, tequila was not designed for shooting. Tequila was actually designed for sipping. We are going to swish very gently all over your mouth all over your palate, couple seconds, three, more than enough, gentle swishes. After that, you're gonna swallow it. And the most important part comes after that, everyone, you need to breathe. <laughs> breathe. Is anybody nervous? Yeah. You should be. No, I'm just kidding. All right, amigos, por favor, salud. Go ahead. Amigos, right there, this is a 100% agave tequila, okay? Now, the most common thing that you're going to start to feel is a bird. 
Am I correct? Are you breathing? Amigos, Americans, this is your body telling you I am ready for my next sip, okay? Now, you might be thinking this man is speaking nonsense, go think, inventing things up as a go. No. But, amigos, if you're drinking tequila and you're sipping it, every shot glass can give us an average between five to seven sips. Okay, and if you wait a minute and a half between those sips, you have just turned a two second drink into an eight to 10 minute drink right there. That is a proper way in how to be drinking tequila. Now let me ask you something. Is anybody here or does anybody enjoy rice pudding? Yeah. Amigos, that means you're gonna love something like this, okay? I'm sure you've heard of rum chata. Amigos, this ain't it. This is horchata liqueur with tequila. Now, everybody, let's make a Mexican toast together. You ready? I'm sure you've all heard about this, amigos, but repeat with me. I want to say, arriba. Arriba. Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Pa dentro. Pa dentro. Go ahead, amigos. Salud. Salud. There you go. This is horchata liqueur with tequila. This is kind of sweet right there. A little tasty candy in the morning. Mm -hmm. I was a little afraid of it. It's not bad. Now, just look at my favorite. I don't like the cups. Okay, we got plenty more. Sweet, creamy. It's like a dessert after dinner. It goes good. All of them is the same. Please, senor. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Amigos, coffee, liquor with tequila. Enjoy it, amigos. Yeah. It's really good. We got back on our tour bus and headed to the Mayan Cacao Company, where we were going to learn how the ancient Mayans produced chocolate from cocoa beans and drank it for ceremonial and medicinal purposes. Hello, hola. <coughs> so uh, the Mayas sold the monkey, eat the fruit, nothing happened with them, so they decided to die. <laughs> That's one second. They just saw the monkey jump and jump and jump and jump, and they just said, I need to try that. <laughs> This powder is ready. Ready for what? Hot water. And I mix it. I already mixed that with hot water so I can show you this. First original amber Hispanic chocolate. Something bitter, pure, energetic, organic. Not easy to drink, but at the same time consider the food of the gods. You can do some things that are very easy. Easy to find, easy to do. For example, 40, 60, 80, 90 percent next to grapes, strawberries, strawberries, lime, coconut, mm. orange, pineapple, banana. After the demonstration, we walked right on over to the shop to see the different flavors of chocolate that were available for purchase. Our next stop was a 30-minute beach break at the scenic overlook of El Mirador. Our last stop of the day was the Mayan Bee Sanctuary, where we learn the importance of bees to Mayan culture and tradition. Anashta Sabina Kasti to Ush Ajakta Uyikelol Lebishatule Chesh Ishkala Lekik Kanatik Agotos Lekutal Tulukim Kushtal Tiolale Sunam Ayukelka look like a fly and they don't have the steam so don't be afraid okay so you can go around to the place for enjoy the menu options. okay go ahead
Thank you for joining Self Out Adventures today. Our honey, chocolate, and tequila excursion has finished. We're about to get back on the bus to go back to port. Yay, so I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you are not already. And we'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.